baptized and I've laid the cornerstone is now complete. We will continue on with our part of the ceremony here. Thank you very much for the operatives and speculative nations who laid the cornerstone there. Right Worshipful Deputy Grand Master, what is the proper implement of your office? The square, Most Worshipful Grand Master. What are its moral and Masonic uses? Morally, it teaches us to harmonize our conduct by the principle of morality and virtue, and by it we prove our work. Apply the implement of your office to that portion of the parts of the cornerstone and make a report. Grand Master, your order has been duly executed, and I am happy to report the stone is square. The workmen have done their duty. Right Worshipful Senior Grand Warden, what is the proper implement of your office? The level Most Worshipful Grand Master. What are its moral and Masonic uses? Morally it teaches us that we are all descendants from the same common parents partakers of the same nature, and that we all share in the same hope, and we use it to prove our work. Apply the implement of your office to the proper portions of the cornerstone and make report. Most merciful Grand Master, your orders have been duly executed, and I am happy to report that the cornerstone is level. The workmen have performed their duties. Right Worshipful Junior Grand Warden, what is the proper implement of your office? The plum, Most Worshipful Grand Master. What are its moral and Masonic uses? Morally, it teaches us to walk uprightly in our several stations to hold the scale of justice in equal poise and by it prove out, prove our work. Apply the implement of your office to the several sides of the cornerstone and make report. Grand Master, your orders have been duly executed. I find the stone is plumb and it is in true position. And I am happy to report that the workmen have done their duty well and faithfully. This cornerstone, having been tested by the proper implements of masonry and report made that the workmen have skillfully and faithfully performed their duty, I therefore declare the stone well formed, true and trusty, correctly proved, and well laid according to the rules of ancient craft. May the building upon this stone always stand amid the blessings of Almighty God in plenty, health, and peace. Amen. So it so be. be. Brother Grand Marshal, present the elements of consecration to the proper officers.
showered upon us and upon all important undertakings and inspire the hearts of people everywhere with wisdom, virtue, and gratitude. Amen. So, so more it be. be. peace abide with us continually and may the grand master of heaven and earth shelter and protect the widow and orphan and vouchsafe to them and to the bereaved and afflicted and sorrowing everywhere the enjoyment of every good perfect gift with plenty health and peace amen so, so much it be. Corn, wine, and oil, and all the necessities of life abound among men throughout the world. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon this undertaking. May He protect the workmen for, from every accident. May the structure here be planned with wisdom, here be planned with wisdom, supported by strength, and adorned in beauty. And may it be preserved through the latest ages in the monument of the liberality of its founders and of the free and enlightened government in which it is our privilege to partake. Amen. So, so more to be. And worthy Sir Arkansas. Having thus as Grand Master of Masons dedicated this cornerstone, I now deliver, deliver these implements of operative masons into your hands with the fullest confidence in this edifice, a continuing monument of the spirit of liberality of its founders as well satisfaction of those who have entrusted you with their fullness <coughs> as well as approbation of their own conscience to the honor of our whole country. Grand Marshal, <coughs> you will now cause proclamation to be made that this cornerstone of this building has been this day found level, square, and plumb, true and trusty and dedicated according to the ancient customs of the community by the Grand Master of Masons in Indiana. In the name of the most worshipful Grand Lodge of ancient and honorable fraternity of free and accepted Masons of the state of Indiana, I proclaim that this day, the cornerstone of the Randall County Courthouse has been found square, level, and plumb, true and trusty, and dedicated according to the ancient customs by most merciful brother, George A. Angles Jr., Grand Master of Masons of the State of Indiana, this seventh day of July, 2012. This is proclaimed from the east to the west. This is proclaimed from the west to the south. This is proclaimed 
from the south to the north. And throughout the land, Grand Chapel. Sir Knight, on cover. Sir Knight, on cover. 